365 days, 365 messages God has in store for you each day. No Fears, written by Vanessa Pizzuto. Welcome, and thank you for taking the time to join us today, February 20th, 2022. Today's devotional is titled, Remember to Remember. Please join me in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for the gift of this new day. We ask that you mold us into your image. You are the potter, we are the clay. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Today's Bible text is found in Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 9. And it reads, Only take heed to yourself and diligently keep yourself, lest you forget the things your eyes have seen, and lest they depart from your heart all the days of your life, and teach them to your children and your grandchildren. I went to the supermarket on my red bike one day. As I was returning, it started to rain. The smell of the wet asphalt took me back to my childhood like a time machine. It took me in an instant to summers in Buenos Aires, to the rivers of rainwater swallowed by thirsty sewers, to the jacaranda flowers that dyed the paths pink and made them slippery, to hopscotch, hide-and-seek, water balloons at the carnival. All those memories, which I hadn't thought about for so long, were driven to the surface by just a scent a familiar fragrance. It is fascinating to notice all the information that is housed in our minds and which we could access if we only remembered to remember. The Bible urges us over and over again to remember. God invites us not to forget the past, full of His care and His presence. My friend Anne And I recently remembered how long I prayed to God to give me more opportunities to write. And here I am today, writing a devotional for women, doing exactly what I asked God for. Remembering the journey gives more value to this moment and allows me to enjoy it more. That was why Moses told the people of Israel not to forget. That is why practices for active remembering were established. Keeping the Sabbath, celebrating the Passover, returning tithe, these are all monuments to remember. Practices that, like a familiar scent, take us back to the past and remind us that God has always been faithful. The Hebrew word that is usually translated in the Bible as remember is sakar. However, this word also means think, ponder, and keep track of something. Today, I want to invite you to remember actively. Take a moment to think of something God has done for you. You can write it, draw it, sing it, or just sit quietly and relive that moment with gratitude. Remember and don't forget the blessings you've seen with your own eyes. Let us pray. Dear Lord, thank you for your faithfulness and your care in my life. Today, I want to remember and thank you especially for